All right, so you have probably, like me, seen all sorts of infographics all over the place. And uh, what you're looking at here is my sticky teaching uh, graphic that was um, on neuroscience and how that affects uh, everything that we now know about the brain and what we've learned in the last 10 years. It's the, uh, it's the information that got put on slideshare.net and has gotten over 20,000 hits. Um, so this is, this is one form of infographic. Obviously, if you spend any time on Pinterest, you'll see all sorts of others there. And when they, when they work well, it's because they're telling a story, they're giving you viable information and valuable information, but in chunks that you can consume easily. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I wanted to start with this one, but not all of them are handcrafted like this one is. Um, this one I did myself. Here, I did another one, but it, I had to go much faster. And I had to go quicker because I was tying it to an article that my friends over at Security had just created, and they had five tips on securing your WordPress website. And so I wanted to get their five tips out there, plus my own six to check them out. And, uh, and you can imagine, if you're not a graphic designer, what it would take to get all this information done well. And of course, another one, because I was going to be talking about WP Engine, a company that hosts managed uh, WordPress websites, I wanted to get a infographic that highlighted the journey that people start when they start it free and move through their choices when they finally get to the place where they ought to be thinking about a WP Engine. And that's followed by this hierarchy, right, where... We all start with something free, we move to, you know, because of freedom, and then obviously we pay a little more for safety, and finally, when you really want rest, you go to somewhere like WP Engine. So these are a couple of the infographics I've created, and what I wanted to do today is just take you behind the scenes, particularly if you're not a graphic designer. How do you create an infographic like this, where just these gradients and these flowers and, and all this stuff just looks impossible to do well? and especially to do quickly. And so what I want to do is introduce you to PictoChart. Now, PictoChart is a, essentially, it's a, it's a platform, it's an application that's hosted in the cloud. You get an account, and, uh, and when you use this account, you can create these infographics quite easily. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm not going to cover every possible one of these, but you'll notice right off the bat, you have the opportunity to pick a theme. There you'll see the one that I used for one of my quick infographics. And down lower here, you'll see another one I used. There's the head uh, right here, although I changed the, the color palette. And what I'm going to do is grab one of these guys so that we can talk about how it works. So, so here is the, a theme I'm going to pick, and I'm going to hit load theme. It is, it is really easy. Um, to manipulate and work with the platform because pick to chart does just about everything for you um, And what you'll notice is of course everything's here. Already. So um, You'll see that there are sections. There's titles. There's a lot of stuff already um, Pre-crafted for you um, But you know right off the bat you may say well this this black and gold thing doesn't do it for me and so what I want to show you is You don't have to be a color palette expert, right? Look at how quickly you can change the colors. You don't have to stress about it because PictoChart knows what colors work well together and they set it up for you. So if that's your thing, if light blue and black is it and you're like, oh, that is beautiful and perfect and that's everything I wanted, then you can move on from there to editing the information in your, uh, in your infographic. Now, this has incredible amounts of options, right? When I come and pick up this title, Notice that it gives me complete control over the font, right? So if I'm not a, a Lee Gothic guy and I want to come in and pick one of these other ones, right, and say, okay, that looks a little more internet-ish to me, then I can, I can pick and change it. I can, of course, change the um, size. I can change whether it's bold or underlined and the alignment. I can rotate it. I can obviously bring things uh, forward and back and make copies of it. Etc. So I have all that control, but you'll notice most infographics also have um, collections or batches of images, and you'll notice the ability to do that here, where you can create a whole batch of images. So that if you were saying the number of people that came here or the number of people who signed up for this, and you just want to show volumes, that works. You can also create charts that way. And the great thing about charts 
is you can either enter the data yourself or you can manipulate, you know, you can uh, manually upload a, uh, a CSV file with all the data already in it, right? So that's fantastic. Now, once you get past that, obviously, you have the ability to introduce shapes. And, uh, and you'll see here, you know, when you're talking about checks and Xs, these ticks come from uh, a prefab set of uh, graphics that are already here, shapes like the thumbs up. So you could put a thumbs up here instead. You also have additional graphics here. So you'll have all the social media icons available um, that, you know, and, and a US map as well. So you have options, plus you can upload your own. Um, and then of course you get to manipulate all the, the text, right? And you have three different kinds of text, subheader text, header text, and of course the text at the bottom. Now entering or editing this text is as easy as clicking on it. And then you just start typing whatever you want to. And when you're done, uh, of course you can also, by the way, bef before I end here, I want to show you, you can also change the width of your, uh, the width of your, of your infographic and you can add other chunks. You can get, uh, create larger and larger and longer and longer infographics if you need to add more information to your site. So there's a lot you can do. Of course, you can then save it and then you can download it, right? And you can download it as um, a, a, a graphic image file that you can then post on your website, post to Pinterest, etc. cetera. So um, that's my quick overview of behind the scenes on how to use Pictochart to really get a, a quick infographic done well when you're not a graphic designer.